Hey guys, it's up, it's Ashley and Taylor and welcome back to Twin Co's. For today's video, we got a really exciting one for you guys. You've been waiting for this one for so long. Ever since we uploaded the TikTok, you guys have been asking us in our DMs for like a full smoothie bowl tutorial. So today's the day. We're gonna be doing the cotton candy smoothie bowl. If you guys don't know what we're talking about and you haven't seen the TikTok yet, this is what we're talking about. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first part of the smoothie bowl, we're gonna be making the pink bowl. So this is a really simple recipe, but we do have a secret ingredient in there that makes it really sweet. So first we're gonna add the bananas. Add those in. There we go. There we go. Then we're gonna add the strawberries. These are all frozen. And our secret ingredient for this smoothie, it's not really a secret, but it is coconut sugar. <laughs> it makes things really sweet and it has, it's actually known to be a little bit healthier than like white sugar or like brown sugar. And it tastes really good. And it tastes really good. You can use it in anything, but I do find it sweeter than normal sugar if you were to compare it. But it almost is like caramelly, so this is the secret ingredient for the pink side of the bowl. So good, you guys. We're just gonna add a tablespoon. There you go. You can always add more if you think it needs it, but we think a tablespoon is kind of the way to go. Exactly. Okay, now it's time to blend, so let's get the lid on and turn on the machine. Everyone always says, what setting do you guys put on? You guys always hide it. Usually we just cut to the clip of it blending, but we pretty much we put it onto one and just hit blend. So, one, two, three. seconds you got a pink swirl here look at that it turned out really good and it smells really really good as you guys saw that we used more strawberries than bananas so the banana taste isn't that strong in this one because if you guys know I don't like bananas very much Ashley is not a fan but yeah so now we're gonna freeze this just while we're getting the blue one ready and then we'll get it all into the bowls Of our cotton candy smoothie bowl this is the blue part we call it like a blue vanilla it really tastes really good and it goes really well with the pink side of the bowl all right so we do have our frozen bananas here so we're gonna add those in just like that there we go and then we have frozen mango always got frozen mango we love it there we go <laughs> quarter cup of um, coconut milk and then we have a tablespoon of vanilla extract here and then for the blue part of the smoothie bowl, we're gonna be using a teaspoon of blue spirulina. If you guys don't have blue spirulina, I know it is really hard to find. You can totally use blueberries. It will be a different color blue, but honestly, it tastes so good. We've done it before. Yeah. And it still gives you the cotton candy, like pink and blue vibe. So. Exactly. It doesn't have any taste. It does have some like healthy properties to it, but it really is mostly for color. So yeah, we're just gonna add that in like that. And we're all ready to blend now. So let's get the lid right on there and turn on the machine. We're gonna turn it to one and hit blend. One, two, three. Okay, so the blue part of the smoothie is all done, you guys. And look at this. It looks so good. Like, so good. I actually think it's a little bit lighter than the last time we made it, actually the first time we made this bowl, but it's just that we could have added a little bit more spirulina. And also different brands of spirulina have different pigments, so like some are darker, some are brighter. This one was different, we got a brand new one. So, this is how it turned out. I'm really excited to get it into the bowls and show you guys the smoothie bowl. I'm so excited to have it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> cotton candy smoothie bowls you guys you guys they look amazing and we can't wait to see you guys make them yeah we actually think it turns out better this time than the last time because I don't know it just seems way better texture and flavor and it's we actually really measured nice. everything out so you guys have a legit recipe to follow yeah and because the first time we made this it was kind of a fluke if you didn't know the story and we just kind of made two flavor smoothie bowls and put them together 
ended up looking really cool. So yeah, let's try it. Taste, Taste test. test. Cheers. I mean, I haven't tried any. It's Whoa. so good. It is really good. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your post notifications because we upload every Tuesday and every Friday. So we'll see you guys next time.